Hi guys! I was just wondering how you're all doing during this very unique and unusual time. Well, we've been kind of stuck at home, but we're having a good time. We're watching lots of movies. We're practicing social distancing and uh, figuring out how to do grocery shopping while we're at home. So we like we placed an order with our local grocery store, the Superstore, and actually they have a really good website where you can order whatever you want, and then they will do the shopping for you. You just go park in the parking lot in a spot that's designated for online shoppers, and someone will come and deliver all the food to you. So you don't really have to go in the stores. And um, yeah, so we placed the order and yeah, we did have to wait a little bit this time because the first time they just, you know, it was like the same day pickup, but the next time we tried, it was a next day pickup, which is fine. I mean, we don't need anything. We don't have to get anything that's like essential. So, you know, we just ordered some snacks and everything. And uh, we got to go to the grocery store with like a mask and gloves. <laughs> and someone came and delivered all the food, so that was kind of nice. But if they don't have something, they will include a substitute, which is great. So the, the grocery store is fully stocked. I mean, there's nothing that we ordered that we didn't get. I mean, of course we didn't order toilet paper, but we're okay with that. Um, so, okay, so what else do we do? We are going to have our daughter's lessons, so they're still going to do their lessons. Luckily, their teachers are open to having FaceTime lessons, which is great. It's fantastic, and I think that's such a great way to, you know, get all their lessons in, if you can, unless it's like a physical activity, like, um, sport um, then you know you can do your music lessons and um, singing lessons voice lessons things like that on FaceTime and then of course I'm getting the girls to watch some educational shows that's the only thing I let them watch nowadays because you know like Nintendo is great but Nintendo is so addictive like once they get a hold of Nintendo Forget it. You can't take it away from them. They just like cling on to it and then taking it away is a pain. So I just completely removed it. And now they're just sitting down and watching Schoolhouse Rock and they love it. Um, another movie that we recently watched, with, which I loved and they love too, is called Isle of Dogs and it's on Netflix and you have to see this movie. I mean, it's just so great. It's like so so meaningful and it's just beautiful. Like the kids are what they were glued to the TV. They were watching it and fully enjoying it, very immersed in in the movie. Um, so yeah, that's what we've been doing and we only go outdoors if it's absolutely necessary. Um, you know, if there's an emergency, obviously you can't avoid it, you have to go. But other than that, we're just staying home and uh, a friend of mine just did a live uh, art class, which was great which was awesome. Um, I will post her Facebook so you can go and watch whenever she does another show. Um, so stay home and do other things and create and uh, spend time with our families. And hopefully uh, this will pass soon. If we get a hold of it, it will pass. It's not going to stay like this. So, oh yeah, another thing that I love to watch, by the way, I've been so hooked on these crime mystery shows. And there's this awesome channel on YouTube. It's called That Chapter by, um, and I think the host is Mike O. I'm not really sure what his last name is, but uh, I think it's O. O H. So, uh, yeah, uh, so he does like a lot of 
videos on uh, unsolved crimes, which is really interesting to watch, like uh, all the details that unfold. And um, yeah, so, okay, let me tell you a little bit about this painting. So this one's a, a little hedgehog. I've been obsessing over hedgehogs. I probably will get one once this, uh, um, you know, staying home thing is over with. Um, so this little hedgehog, I saw someone on my Instagram feed have one for their kids and I just thought it was so cute and my girls love, love cute things and they really want a hedgehog too. So I was thinking I would get one when we're not staying indoors anymore. But until then, I thought I could paint one and it turned out so well. So what I did was prep the canvas, another three by three. I prepped it with a warmer color underneath and then popped on the white because I did take, I did have a sample. I had like, a, I went to Pixabay and I did find this image, which is, <clears throat> um, It's, it's of this cute little hedgehog uh, just standing on the, the sidewalk and then there's rocks next to him. Um, so yeah, I, I, I mean, you don't have to do like an exact alike picture, but you know, just the way you see the image. That's how I paint my paintings, the way I see it. I, that, that is what's important. You draw your drawings and your paintings in the way that you imagine things and that, that they appear to you. So it's not like a real hyper realism. Uh, so I don't have to get it exactly the, the same way as it is in the in the painting but um you know just the way i imagine it to be i see it and it's my point of view so um i enjoy doing it and i thought i would share it with everybody because you know people are bored and they have nothing to do and i thought i would give you something to look forward to um so this little hedgehog i started out with some brown Actually, I think it was like burnt umber uh, for uh, the, the back where the quills are and and then I uh, actually painted in the whole thing with white and then started with this back and then with this body and then added more details to it actually I wanted to give you some fun facts that I found on Google about hedgehogs and here are some interesting things that I didn't know, maybe you knew, I don't know, but I, I think it's fun to learn new things. Um, so one of the facts says that a group of hedgehogs is called an array. You probably already knew that. Hedgehogs are illegal in some parts of the United States. I wonder which parts and why. Um, very curious about that. Um, a hedgehog has between 5,000 and 7,000 quills. That's a lot of quills. That's interesting. Uh, there are 17 different species of hedgehog, none of which are native to America. Hmm, interesting. Where do they come from? Does anybody know? Hedgehogs rely on hearing and smell because they have very poor eyesight. Oh, I kind of knew that one. Anyway, there's more fun facts on Google and you can Google them and I thought they're so cute and they're such a good gift to give away to someone so I put it on a little painting and I will be giving it away as a gift or if you'd like one, send me a message. Okay guys, oh also tell me what you're doing. What are you up to now that you're stuck indoors? How are you coping? What are the kinds of things that you're doing? And Are you shopping online? Are you going outdoors? Are you still 
figuring out ways of how to educate your kids while you're still at home. Um, what type of shows are you watching? Let us know so that we can watch too. I'm so curious because now that we're home, we're going to have to find a lot of shows to watch um, and a lot more games to play. And basically, we're just going to be looking for more entertainment since there's nothing else to do. We can't go outdoors. We can't do sports. I mean, we can. We can go to the backyard and we can go for a walk. But, you know, we have to be careful not to interact with people and... And if we do, we keep a very large distance because, you know, we don't want anybody getting infected. Um, so stay well, my friends. And I will come up with new things to paint and new um, things to talk about. Let me know what you're interested in and I will talk about those issues or paint whatever it is that you want to see me paint um so yeah i will see you guys later bye